Hey, sheep. <laughs> There's about a... Uh... No! There's about two foot of snow. No! Those dogs are just a little feisty today. <laughs> All right, I gotta throw some more hay, but look at how deep the snow is. It's up to their bellies. And it's this isn't the deep part, there's a drift here. That's a top wire on an O'Brien post. You can see how deep the drift is. <laughs> I think they're ready to eat. I better get going. Well, they have a path down here now. I can get back to the trees. Underneath that hay right there is a short horn calf. <laughs> I accidentally threw it on him. And he's nosing around down there. <laughs> hey, Buster. You gonna get out of that hay? Uh, I already pet you, Bob. Let's see if we can free him up. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> well, he's still wearing a hay coat. Whatever. <laughs> this is why I've been feeding such small increments. Just to put it in perspective, I was here. <clears throat> That's my knee right there. There's just so much snow out here right now. I uh I didn't even drive the four-wheeler out here. I just walked out and it was up to my thigh in places cuz along with the snow, you can see the wind is still going pretty good, but last night, boy, the wind was just whipping. There's just massive drifts. So I've kind of committed to, I need to bring these guys water. I'm going to just go back in and start shoveling. And it's about 500 yards that way to the house. Um, so I'm going to shovel 500 yards times four foot wide. Times, you know, anywhere from six inches to three feet of snow. <laughs> uh, this is a note to myself. Next year, think about blizzards when I'm choosing where to keep the animals and the far side of the farm may not be the answer I mean it was necessary I needed to repair this whole strip right here but it's moments like this where I go why did I do what I did good grief but they all look good they're just eating 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 and Old Buster there still wearing his hay coat. Actually, not nine is uh, eating off of his back, literally. <laughs> oh well, what a beautiful thing. To uh, I've been getting probably once a day on various videos as I think people are going back and watching them. Do you have a barn? What kind of shelter do you keep them in? How do they get along? How dare you? I got some of that too. Find me a better, more comfortable looking set of sheep off of grass in Minnesota, one of the coldest places in the country, in a blizzard. They're just, they're banging along. No problem. Some of the older, or the earlier bred ones are starting to look really heavy in the stomach. But... I have hopes that we are going to get a good amount of twins this year. All right, well, the dog's feeder is buried, so I got to go dig that out so they can have breakfast, and we're going to get after it. That is what I'm working with here. I'm having to carve about two foot of two foot of snow to get my four-wheeler across the farm and if you can stretch your imagination I go through that break in the trees and then up a hill which is super cool to the house and that's where I just go from the house down the hill up this hill 
and so I've gotten to the, the fence line I put in and I've knocked the fence down just for a second so I can try to drive across it and now I'm gonna find out how deep the drifts are out there I'm really hoping it's not as bad as it looks <laughs> have I mentioned I'm done with snow good grief you can see just I didn't get water out to him this morning it's about well, what time is it? It's like I think it's almost lunchtime, and it, all these cattle are coming over to just get a drink as fast as they can. Uh, some some of the sheep are too, so uh, I know they can technically eat snow, but it seems like they aren't doing that very much since when I drop water in, they're uh, they're just rush bum rushing the whole thing to get a drink. So I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go fill it up again because I bet you by the time I get out of here it, it'll be empty and I want them to have as much water as they can manage. Shep and Bob got some lamb, we had uh, lamb ribs in a stew last night um, so they got some meat on the bone and the lamb saw it, it was a treat for them but they went over there and they're obviously not interested. This is the kind of thing we can give them on top of some kibble is just a, a little bit of <laughs> yeah bad indeed all right I better go get more water uh, they're they're already sucking it down look I just put 45 gallons in there and it's already going down so the, even though there's t tons of fresh snow you gotta provide water like I spent all morning just digging 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 to get out here with the four-wheeler so now I can bring them water so next year I'm doing something different that's for sure holy crap well I'm gonna call my strategy of uh, feeding many many times a day through the snowstorm a rousing success this is all the waste I had it's really good we got a nice concentration of manure here too and uh, they're just getting a little bite to eat and then that little third of a bale is for tomorrow. And they all came through it with just flying colors. Really good. All of them are in great condition. Yeah. Old mama cow here. George the Ram. He's up back up for sale. Uh, unfortunate thing about dealing with internet stuff is some people times people just can't make it work logistically and so that's just all there is look at how comfortable she's getting with me it's right nine so they're getting a little bite to eat and this will carry them through to tomorrow and uh interestingly you see this bald patch on this steer i figured out where that came from finally he's been rubbing himself is incessantly on the dog feeder. I guess they need a good itching post and one of the many trees is simply not enough for him. But Boy, he's a good looking guy. He's big though. We definitely gotta get him into the butcher once. We're gonna flush him out on green grass and then he'll head to the butcher for our family. And then we have old Shorthorn there. What, you taste something you like there? Hey, Shup? She's gonna get kicked. <laughs> what a weird dog. I don't know what she found up there, <laughs> but he doesn't seem to mind and she's very interested. Look how furry she is. So we're on the other side of the storm now. You can probably just see from the lighting where it's back to being bright and I need sunglasses again. Uh, but we made it through and Probably the worst bit was shoveling um, shoveling a path out here so I could get water out to him. He looks like he's in great condition, isn't he? Wow. Really nice. Anyway, I gotta go get this hot wire on so they stop bumping my little fence. Hopefully that's the last one for this year. Right, 14? Alright, have a good day.